Columbia County students head back to school next week, and today the school board is reviewing the district's mask policy. As it stands, the district is mandating masks or face shields for all employees, but not for students. News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringle is joining us now live. Lena, the superintendent is expected, however, to release his recommendation later this morning. Good morning, Jen. We are still working to find out what that recommendation will be, but it is expected to come from the school district's Twitter accounts. Here's what's included in the current policy. It states effective immediately mask or face shields are mandated for all employees while on campus or school board property where they can't socially distance. There is currently no mandate for students, but the district was considering one for children in grades three through 12. Now it appears that is off the table. The district tweeted last night there will not be a school board policy on tomorrow's agenda that requires face coverings to be worn by students, but there will be a discussion and or action on a recommendation from the superintendent. It's unclear if this change is in response to anything. We know yesterday Columbia County reported 2,800 new infections, up 20 from the day before. The county's positivity rate was also nearly 33 percent, the second highest in Northeast Florida. Students are scheduled to return to class on the 24th and once again, the superintendent will give his recommendation this morning. Once that happens, we will bring you an update on air and on newsforjax.com. Live in Jacksonville, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, the local station.